Hey everybody, welcome to another Sniffle Valve video. And uh, this video is going to be about Generate Press, the handy dandy, very lightweight and fast, responsive theme from Tom Osborne. And um, today we're going to be doing <laughs> what I call Generate Press on a Budget. Um, there may be times uh, where you are on a very, very tight budget and you can't uh, afford the very reasonable price uh, to get the premium add-on over here at the Generate Press Premium and uh, get all these handy-dandy uh, add-ons, sections, typography, menu plus, all this sort of thing for the low, low price of $39.95. Very reasonable. Uh, however, there may be instances where that's not an option. So that's what I wanted to show you today um, is how to uh, style this into something a little bit more, uh, how would you say, presentable or more in tune with what you might have in mind. Because what we're seeing here now is a, a brand new install of WordPress on XAMPP on Windows 10 uh, running uh, Generate Press all by itself. And uh, this is pretty much what you get. And I've just added some widgets uh, to the three widget positions at the bottom just so we can see that there's something there. And the other thing that I've done is I've added two pages a contact page and about page and put them under the sample page just so we can uh, see what our drop down looks like but uh, with that in mind let's go and uh, see if we can just gussy that up a bit I'll just show you what uh, well I have that but uh, I've only got a couple plugins here uh, again Tom's uh, very nice uh, simple CSS plugin um, of course, Windows, Windows, WordPress 4.7 uh, now comes with a CSS editor built in, but uh, oh, this is much better. And the other one is uh, this really handy little plugin called Code Snippets um, by Shea. And uh, it's really handy for adding uh, PHP and HTML in such a way that uh, if you happen to have some misconfigured code it will not activate it if uh, because it does actually a syntax check before uh, making it active anyways you might be wondering well oh dear this sounds terrible well it's not too bad but there is one thing that we want to do uh, with that and I'll just show you over here again and that is to uh, put in your own copyright uh, information down here in the bottom in the site info area or water okay so uh, here we go let's go back in here first of all let's just go over to appearance and customize and take a look at what we have now I don't know about you guys but um, I really don't care to have those cluttering up my customizer but uh, I did find a way to get rid of them all except the nav one, but that's for another video later on. So anyways, here we have our site. One of the first things that a lot of people want to do, they want to put their logo there. So let's go ahead and do that. And uh, if we uh, put a logo, I've got the generate press one here all set up with an alt text. And we're going to skip cropping. And there you have it. Well, <laughs> you got the site title and the uh, tagline there, and that doesn't really look all that cool. So let's just go turn those off and uh, say, yeah, but I really wouldn't mind having that. Well, that's fine. So we'll save and publish that. And we're going to put it in uh, the header uh, widget position. Uh, where's my widgets? There it is. Uh, into this spot. Now I already have one made up. I'll just drop it in. 
Let me show you what it says. And here is generate press on a budget. And I put another sniffle valve WordPress tutorial inside a div with the ID of tagline. And that's so that I can style it separately. So let's save that. And what does the front end look like there now? Let's refresh. Okay, well, it's getting better. We've got a logo. I've got my title and tagline. But I like that bigger. And uh, I'd also uh, want to justify it to, to the right, or wind it to the right, and maybe change the color. Well, okay, here we go over to simple CSS. And let's just do that. I'm going to copy and paste some CSS here that I have sitting over on Notepad++. And what this does is going to change the font size of the title, the 36. And we're going to take away the margin there to bring the tagline up a little closer underneath it. And make the tagline, there is the... Uh, ID that I gave that div uh, so it's 24 pixels and we're going to line it to the right and I'm going to make it the color blue and for this uh, tutorial I'm using the uh, the color names as opposed to hex values it just makes it a little easier for people that are not familiar with it to uh, figure out what's going on so anyways let's save that go have a look and there we go. Oh, that's looking better already. And then we say, well, hmm, there's a little bit, a lot of space here. Let's see if we can't tighten that up. Okay, takes a little bit more of CSS. And I'll just go grab that. And don't worry, all this uh, CSS and any other code uh, will be on the page there over at Sniffle Valve, where the video will be, along with a little explanation too. So we'll paste that. And so that area is called inside header. And we've taken the padding down from 40 to 20. And uh, for those of you uh, that don't know, uh, the order here is top, right, bottom, left. So it's clockwise from the top. So we're knocking down the top and the bottom padding because by default, uh, it's 40 all across the board. So let's save that and see how that looks. Oh, that's better. It's a little tighter. Okay. So, well, what else do we want to do? Well, another thing is a lot of people like to have their uh, sidebar widget titles uh, with a background color and a different uh, text color. So we can do that. And uh, another thing that we'd uh, like to do there too is there's, there's an awful lot of space here between the title and where the content starts. So uh, let's grab some CSS for that and uh, see if we can't tune that up. Okay, paste that in. So here we have the sidebar widget, widget title. And just so you know that uh, Pardon me, if you just do widget title, you'll target all the widget titles, and you don't really want to do that for this. Uh, so, color again is white. We're going to make the background color blue. Give it some padding uh, so it doesn't look all squished together, and uh, align this text to the center. And here's where we're going to tighten up that bottom margin on the title. So, let's save that and go take a look at what that does. Refresh, and there you go. So just like that. So here was the, the padding that we added, and then we took the uh, margin down and made that 12, so it tightened that up. Okay, so that's coming along not bad, but let's say, okay, we want the footer uh, to match that. Okay, well, Let's go and do that by doing it this way. And we keep them separate, so in case we want to change it, we can. So we gave it the same values, but it's a footer widget widget title. And save. 
and refresh and there we go and you'll note there I set the text align to left or actually didn't set it I just took the align center off uh, because default is to align it to the left so okay that's coming along not bad uh, let's see what else we want to change okay mm, there's a lot of space here and here and I wouldn't mind tightening that up so let's uh, go do that right now and paste that so for the footer widgets again it's the same as up here so top uh, top right bottom and left so I'm going to take that down because default those are 40 so I'm just brought it down to 20 for those and uh, keep in mind if you have the uh, premium plugin uh, for generate press uh, you'll be able to do all this other than uh, this uh, pretty much uh, in the customizer but again we can do it with CSS and uh, get the same results so let's refresh that and there we go and you'll notice that the background color changed because I forgot to tell you that I also put in a background color of light gray uh, just to help see things a little better and to differentiate it from uh, the rest of the site and the uh, page background so it's coming along the other thing we want to do next is to uh, tighten this up a bit and maybe change the color on that as well and that is uh, the site info area so come back over here and paste that in so again I've uh, knocked it down uh, from 20 to 10 for top and bottom and I gave it a background color of gray so we'll save that CSS and refresh and there is your site info area and uh, next thing we want to do before we get into the menu uh, let's see what do we want well we're in the CSS mode let's do that and we'll do this part last okay so menu next you want to have a different color menu bar and uh, you don't want to have uh, backgrounds like that you just want to have the text and a text change color so okay we'll go over and uh, do that and this is why I wanted to get this part out of the way first because the uh, menu CSS is fairly long but it's fairly easy to do so let's just uh, give us some space here and I'm gonna go over here and copy it all and I'm going to paste it in up here and there it is uh, like I said uh, there's a lot there but it's all fairly easy <laughs> that relative term again this is why I use the color names and not hex so you can see the items that are blue and which items are black and then the white items so basically we have uh, these items that are in blue are the nav bar and here is the black is for the uh, inactive text and here the white is for the items that are on hover as well as the current items uh, for both the main and the sub menus and you'll see the background colors are set to transparent and that's so you just get the uh, you're having a text only menu okay well what does that look like then well let's go see let's refresh and there you go so now we have our blue menu bar and on hover uh, changes to white okay and an inactive text is black go over there and uh, that's pretty much about it so there you're having a more customized look to your uh, basic uh, generate press install and the other thing I said that we wanted to do uh, is 
here is use our code snippets. So I'll go over here and uh, to manage and we'll add new and we're going to call this uh, my copyright or you can name it whatever you'd like. Uh, it's just for your uh, use only. And let me grab the uh, code from over here and paste it in. And here it is. And again, this will be on the Sniffle Valve site, so don't worry. And the only part here that you really need to change is right here where it says your website name and links. So there you can put your uh, site name. Uh, you can have links to uh, terms and conditions, uh, privacy policy, site map, uh, anything you like down there. But it all starts right after here. And uh, the thing is, like I said, with uh, this particular plugin, it will check the syntax before it lets you activate or before it will activate. And I'll just do this here. We want it to only run on the front end of the site. And so we save, change, and activate. And it says it's been activated. But let's say in your haste, you did something like this and ended up getting rid of that uh, character. And you went to save. Well, it would say it's been deactivated because there's an error on 17. Right? So, uh, that's why you have to be careful when you're doing this. But this is also nice because it does trap these errors. If you were to do this another way, um, and you'll have to save changes and activate, uh, you'd end up with a dreaded white screen of death. Okay, so anyways, this is a nice little way to do it. And uh, let's go down and have a look and see. Refresh. And there you have it, your website name and links. So that's about all I wanted to show you in this go around, uh, how you can use this CSS and uh, to uh, customize your Generate Press uh, theme. Like I said, uh, uh, there's instances where you would uh, need to do that. For whatever reason but uh, again it's a, a very worthwhile investment uh, to use the uh, generate press premium plugin uh, it not only gives you that but uh, what we did here but a lot of other uh, benefits as well and other options okay well thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel for sniffle valve as well as the sniffle valve site Okay, well, we'll see you next time.